You are probably familiar with the shiny still pictures and stylishly animated CGI trailers of our products. Well, what's presented to you in a layback way is the result of many, many work steps, a lot of sweat and a high level of attention to detail. Something that's part of the DNA of Be Quiet. In recent years, conventional photography has lost more and more ground to 3D animation. In 9 out of 10, the materials of our projects are designed and shot on a computer and not with a physical camera. This gives us unprecedented flexibility when it comes to product changes and also lots of freedom with animation and presentation. Especially as by now you can really do these things in a photorealistic way. And it all starts with a kick-off meeting in our marketing department. Following the guidelines of our product managers, the most important product features are defined. And with them the focus points of the future pictures as well. Will we show parts of the inner workings of the product? Is there a special component that needs to be emphasized? These are standard questions that need to be asked and answered here. Afterwards, it's all about the details. The product marketing defines which pictures and which scenes are to be produced. This often includes detailed descriptions of scenes. What is shown exactly, from which perspective, how does the camera move or how single elements interact with each other. So, usually we email our briefing. But this time we want to show you what happens next after the briefing is done. So we thought, hey, just hop in the car and show you guys what happens next. Come on! We arrived in Western Germany. This is the office, the building of the super CGI guys. And this is the place where the 3D magic happens. So, yeah. Come on, guys. Hey! Hi! Hi! Ah, Moritz, Moritz, Moritz. Hi, welcome. Come on, let's get in. We have been working with Be Quiet for several years now. And one of the most interesting things about it is that these are highly sophisticated products that using our technology we can put in a great light. We can highlight features, we can show things that are not obvious at first and put a perfect spotlight on them. Obviously, it takes a ton of computational power to create our pictures and animations. Of course, we knew Be Quiet before we worked with them, which is why we were very excited when we got the chance to render their first power supply. What makes working with Be Quiet products so interesting are the very high technical requirements, the level of detail we have to respect, the innovative nature of the products and the years and years of development and planning of the components, which we put in picture and present them in the best possible way. The tool of choice to bring the scenes to life is called Keyshot. In this highly complex program a fully detailed 3D model of our product will be created. Most of the times 3D modeling data is already available from the hardware production, especially with coolers and cases. Sometimes it is not and the 3D model has to be created from scratch. This is one of the most complex tasks here, as all of the elements down to the smallest screw have to be represented correctly. This is also a matter of time. Just because the data and diagrams are available doesn't necessarily mean that they don't change which they tend to do even towards the end of the product development. This is particularly challenging in the case of product pictures required for the manuals and packaging, which have to be done and dusted way before the actual product itself. What is really exciting to us is that we get to see these products in a very early stage of development, often enough before they even actually exist. Particularly in the case of the power supplies, we often receive prototypes or pre-soldered mock-up boards, which gives us the chance to work in parallel with the actual product development. Of course, this can mean that things can change. A new capacitor here, a replaced circuit board there, the material being switched mid-development. All of this makes for a very interesting design process. We start from scratch and end up with a fully fleshed out product, 
that does not exist in the real world so far, but will be available in a couple of weeks. Let's get back to the 3D production. Textures and materials decide in combination with the lighting whether a product will look real eventually. For a CAD file to end up being a photorealistic picture or video takes many important steps. We have the data that we must understand and we have to understand the product in order to be able to create an optimal picture with a message. Right now we are busy with creating the pictures of the Pure Loop, a completely new Be Quiet product. Which means that it's also a completely new product for us. Here we have these flexible elements, these tubes, which so far haven't existed as a 3D model. So we have to create them first. A Be Quiet project goes through several software tools. Usually we start with the modeling. If we don't have the full 3D data of the product, we begin modeling in Rhino or Maya. Alternatively, we use a tool called Cinema 4D. The next step is Keyshot. That's our preferred tool to create really high quality materials, as this program offers by far the best performance. The post-production is being handled in After Effects and Premiere. And every fully rendered picture is being finalized in Photoshop, in order to make it as realistic as possible. Also, there is the question of perspective and camera movement. It's quite obvious that you need a ton of processing power for that. This Be Quiet system, for example, houses a Core i9 10900X CPU kept on ice by our Dark Rock Pro 4, while an RTX 2080 Super GPU flexes its graphics muscles. Each 3D artist commands a lot of computational power, which is kept really quiet so that they can focus on the work completely. In the background, there is even more action happening. All of our computers are daisy-chained or run in parallel. Which means that if we have a rendering job that we send to the network, the master divides a single task onto all available computers here. Which means all computers that are currently not used otherwise. For example, if the 3D artist is not using it right now because they are working with the GPU and not the CPU. This facilitates the video creation hugely as the stationary computer can still be used in a normal way, while at the same time every available resource helps in the rendering process. We do not work with 4 or 16 cores anymore. Our rendering jobs usually require up to 400 CPU cores, which makes the whole process indefinitely faster than only a few years ago. We've started with an Intel i7, which was very much state-of-the-art back then, but which also meant that when working with complex materials, such as several layers of glass or high quality surfaces, everything slowed down to a dreadful crawl. We've tried many approaches here. We used Intel based motherboards with dual processors. We've worked with AMD systems. By the way, this first computer, this Intel i7, still exists, is still part of our server farm and still in the rendering pipeline working on current graphics jobs. All of our computers are running 24-7. Every new computer receives a quick test run and is never turned off again afterwards. With the exception of necessary updates, of course. This means that we need only the most reliable systems that work without a single flaw all the time. It's quite funny actually that we use Be Quiet products of today to create Be Quiet products of tomorrow. You know, we work with today's technology to create the pictures of tomorrow's technology that doesn't even exist yet. After the product looks good, the polishing follows. Firstly, our product manager makes sure that everything looks and moves correctly. You have to remember, this is a moment in time where we usually only have a prototype or very early production samples at hand. Which makes comparison quite challenging. Next up is the choice of music. A video is an audio-visual medium, which makes the choice of the right music for it just as important as the choice of pictures. Not only must the music fit the scenes, it also has to fit the product as a whole. Usually we experiment in-house with a couple of different styles and create several rough cuts, out of which a final choice will be made. 
Afterwards, all the scenes are being analyzed thoroughly, final changes are made, scenes shortened or lengthened, and camera perspectives fixed. Every once in a while a new scene is added here, for example when all the previous work has opened up some new options. After everything is finished and the marketing department is happy, the pre-rendered scenes have to be re-rendered in highest quality and really high resolution. Which is where the smart rendering network comes into play. This collective has one job only, graphics rendering. Ideally at night when no other tasks need any computational power. And that's still not it. Back in our very own Glinde headquarters, the final pictures and videos receive their country-specific text insertions. We offer them in up to nine languages after all. Product pictures also receive their finishing touches here. Lighten up a slightly too dark area here, smoothly fade out a reflection there. The works. We are almost done. Our social media manager takes care of uploading the videos to our many channels, tagging them, writing the informative texts and creating the thumbnails. Meanwhile our website has been prepared as well and all of the product materials are ready. And finally our country marketing and sales teams make sure that all of our partner websites and online shops have access to the new assets and integrate them properly. So a lot of people work hard to make sure that the Big White products not only look good in your PC but on our website or many online shops as well. And the funny thing is it's Big White products that give digital life to Big White products. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look. If you have any questions there please leave us a comment below. See you in the next video and stay quiet.